saluda. Corre, corre, corre. 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 Corre, corre, the place is all filled with water where they have a place now they can wash their clothes. Before they were washing them in puddles that were contaminated and um, they had no drainage or anything. Now it's all filled with water. This was all built by Cigar Family. This is part of the contribution, which you can see on the internet and you can see also through uh, Cigar Family's uh, letters. <laughs> <coughs> look at this, look. isn't that something picturesque? That's something you see in uh, National Geographic or something. Look at this. God bless this home. You know. And if we go down this road, if you look at all these poles, see all these electrical poles and electrical wire? Mm -hmm. All that was donated by Cigar Family Charitable Foundation, thanks to the contribution of uh, the hundreds and thousands of uh, cigar lovers and, and uh, retailers and distributors and everyone in the United States from the cigar industry who have been so generous with all the donations. Uh, all this electricity is for the foundation. There was never any electricity, any running water in this community. There was nothing here, no schools, no clinic, no sports facilities. And you have all these children, you have about, about 4,000 children around here. Without, if you look forehead, look, that's the clinic. If you look, in the middle of nowhere, you've seen all these little homes. I mean, it's all being built now, it's all under construction. But if you look out there in the middle of nowhere, it's going to be really nice when it's finished to get to the foundation area. This whole area is very blessed for tobacco. It's, uh, it's full of streams and you got natural, the river goes right through the farm area. It's all covered with pine trees. You have all these coconut trees, palm trees, uh, avocado, all kind of tropical fruit. But for children to commute back and forth is almost impossible. That's why they don't, they don't leave their homes because they gotta cross these streams. And one of the things that our family is, is working on a project now is building bridges, three bridges, so these small children come to nursery school. If not, it's impossible for them to uh, commute. So we have to build three bridges, and the reason that is we're studying the environment, because that's uh, environmentally friendly, and we're going to make them out of steel covered with wood so that it, it blends in with the environment. We don't want something with concrete and things like that. So it's, it's, we have some environmentalists studying the different engineers, studying the different options of the bridges, but we've got to build three bridges because you can't expect a five-year-old or four-year-old to walk to this thing. When it starts raining, the current takes them, they could drown them. All this comes down from the mountain. There's actually three streams that we have to cover for the bridge. If not, how are the school buses are gonna come by the, you know, the ambulance for the clinic, bring the local people. Uh, it's, it's very, it's very important that, uh, it's more than just building a school and a clinic, you're building a whole community. And it's very important that we, you know, we cover every detail. You can see we got another stream coming up. Let me stop. Look, look, look how deep it is the car. You see, and, it, and right now it's not raining. During raining, when it starts raining a lot, it's, it's, it's impossible to even commute. You see the front sign of the Cigar Family Community Project. Uh, let me just turn a little bit to my left so you can get a picture. You can get the sign. Um, this is the future. Cigar Family Community Project. And right behind it, you see the building going up, which will be the clinic. It'll be just for an emergency, you have an entrance for the ambulance. And that's the first stage because then as we go expanding, the clinic goes expanding to the back and the side. Uh, the same with the school. Everything is being built in stages because of uh, the lack of sufficient funds or, you know, we have a lot of funds and people have been so generous to continue to contribute, but there's still a lot more to go. We, you know, there's a lot of uh, the expense here that you don't see is all, it's all with uh, drainage and underwater uh, drainage and tubes because we have to build this the last 
uh, generations. It just can't be something that, that you look at as beautiful in the beginning. It's got to last a built, and you have so much flooding in this area because it's in an agriculture area, which is not really for construction. So we had to really invest a lot of money. We have professional people, which has uh, been put out in newsletters and the foundation uh, website, explaining all the expense and all the all the the design that was done underground and the person that designed it and built it is a graduate from Columbia University and his son is a graduate from uh, Harvard University. People came down here from Cigar Family, got to meet him and talk to him. He's an amazing man. I mean this is really an incredible project and something way beyond uh, our wildest dreams. Well, let's go inside now we'll take a look at uh, some of the initial construction which is going on now. Here's some of the... That's, being, that's where the baseball diamond, the baseball field is being built. We've got different stages depending on the funds that we've raised and so forth. But uh, we're building, like I said, the last month and a half been raining, but it's going to be all these roads and parking and this whole... I mean, it's, it's a big project, fence around it. Not only that, all this area, you look out there where the cows are at, all this area, that's going to be all agriculture. That's environment for environmental studies, agriculture, uh, reforestation. This is all the area in back when they used to grow pine trees and things like that to reforest the community for the community to learn about environmental protection and so forth. This, I mean, this, this is a big project. It's a very ambitious project that we know is going to serve as a model for the rest of uh, the business world and, and uh, for other communities outside of this area and hopefully for other parts of Latin America. Uh, preventive medicine is probably the most important thing that the Cigar Family Charitable Foundation, this complex with uh, with the support of IDDI would be educating people on preventive medication, how to boil water, all the filters which are now being uh, distributed to all the communities and, and the homes nearby. This building that we're passing by now is the primary school. Uh, it's being built in sections. This is the initial stage. Uh, then it's going to be expanded towards the sides and the back. Everything's already been uh, already designed for the expansion and so forth. There's going to be a forest in between, a park with walkways walking through it and fountains and flowers and they get, they, things are being spread out. Don't forget this project, this project is, is, is being built in 46 acres. The initial stage is 23 acres, but the total project that we have profit now is 46 acres. If you turn around and you look back where that smoke is at, if you look, uh, you see the, you can see the Grito de Calito up there, Chateau de Point, you see the, the that roof. All this is designed for circulation. This was all designed by the architect that built schools in this country under the world uh, code of schools. It's built, you can see the high roofs in the back. We have circulation of air. You can see how cool it is in here. It's all for circulation, for the light. And this is, and this is already structured so that you have this, the expansion. There'll be an expansion, another wing going this way. You have another wing going this cross. So we're doing everything in stages. We haven't determined exactly because we want something that's modest but yet fair, something to raise extra money. Naming rights, you have a classroom with a naming right uh, with your family name, your company name, uh, the, the library, the different classrooms, the clinic, uh, uh, you know, there's an endless amount of things because it's a way to recognize the big contributors or the contributors to this uh, project and also have, that's going to be here for eternity for as long as those plaques are around and so forth. And we're also going to have a wall, a big wall with the contributors' names. There's a lot of different things we're going to do. And uh, not, only, not only the satisfaction of, of you seeing your name in a place as wonderful as this forever, but more importantly, for the people of the local community to understand the magnitude of so many people, of thousands of people who never really met them before, but they understand the, the importance of giving back and, and appreciates their hard work, uh, you know, the sacrifice from their soil. Uh, from from their labor and just in, in producing such great you know products that people enjoy all around the world and all around the world and this way they have a chance to see the magnitude and the significance of so many people so many names from all parts of the world all parts of the United States that How, how nearby it is. Uh, it's a right next to it. Yeah, it's right next to it. Yeah, it is. It's right.
This road is called what? Carlitos Scream? Yeah, yeah, this is the, the road up to El Grito de Carlitos. Cigar Family uh, Community Project from Cigar Family Channel Foundation. If you look at it, this is where we were walking. This is the road when we came in. We were walking through here, which is not completed yet. Uh, the road, you can see, have all the parking area. And this is the clinic uh, when it's finished, the first stage. Uh, again, we have for expansion the clinic. Then you have more parking here. And you can see to the left, I mean, to my left, this is the school. Which you haven't started yet. Oh, uh, the school is already started. We were in that Okay. Oh, we were there, yes. Yes, but we were only in the front section. You see the two sections? Mm-hmm. We, they're only building the front section first, and then they're going to build the, the back section, and then it has room for expansion. And if you look back here, this is, uh, this is like a civic center for the community. This is a civic center area. It's going to have like a, like a whole parkway and stuff to have meetings and everything, a whole central area. Then you have like a boys and girls club in this area here. You have the basketball tennis courts with bleachers, and you have showers and lockers on the bleachers separate for boys and girls. And um, this area here, this is, uh, this is all agriculture, te technical area, teaching people how to grow crops, agriculture, and so forth. Then you have a whole area that's being done, a forestation. This area in the back, this is all for forestation, to reforest uh, some of the strip mountains and strip lands and the river banks to teach people how to reforest and protect the land. If you go back here, further back, it's hard to see right over here, but if you come over here, you can see this is a ball field. Again, this, this, is, this is just a model now. Yeah, with the bleachers, that's going to be a baseball park, a ball field. And uh, then over here, you have a whole community project, a whole area where we'll have meet, you know, for the, uh, for the older people. You're going to have, like, meetings separate from the small children. Uh, you're going to have, like, um, seminars, when have arthritis. Uh, different things, how to confront different things in life. Uh, for the older people, have no education also in the area. Uh, so you have to educate not only the younger people, you have to educate the older people. Because if a young child comes home with books when he's eight years old, the older uh, people, generation of this community who has never had education at all, tell the young child, get rid of those books. Throw them away. Go get a job. You're not going to bring home food on the table. You're not going to put food on the table by reading books. So we have to educate the, uh, the, the older generation also. And then again, they could have like community uh, bingo games at night, so that they have something to keep occupied. Teach them uh, safety of uh, different things, uh, how to boil water, uh, how to you know how to wash your hands, simple things like washing your hands and things like this. So it's a whole uh, health education, uh, uh, you know, get along in society, how to achieve things, and just a whole structure which I'm not aware of, but we have uh, David Luther, who's been over 25 years with uh, IDBI, the Institute of uh, of uh, integral development, and he works very closely with the American Embassy, uh, with different foundations all over a lot of this country, and a lot of these things of uh, social workers and everything. We're using his people, uh, which have a great experience, and, uh, it, and without this, without them, this wouldn't have been possible. So we have room for expansion, as you can see in other areas. This is just the first 23 acres. Then adjacent to this is another 23 acres. But if you look from this angle, which is amazing that we weren't aware in the beginning, if you look from this angle, look from here, and you look across. It's, look from here, stand here. This is incredible. Look at this. You look across. If you look across, follow me. It's the shape of a heart. We had no idea that it was the shape of a heart. And so we didn't take photographs from the sky. It's the shape of a heart. And the reason it's the shape of a heart, because naturally, you have the stream that runs across naturally this way around the back of the land. So it, it's, it's something we had no control over. It's the shape of a heart, which is it's really symbolic. And it's amazing how these things, you know, how you start in a certain way and, you know, there's sometimes there's bigger things than us in life. Uh, sometimes it's destiny, it's fate, whatever you call it. It's, it's something that uh, really makes us realize there's something bigger than all of us, you know. And I think there's a, there's a, a fate or purpose that we're here. And we are, we're, all, we're all very proud of this. It's just the beginning. Right? It's something that uh, is going to change the world.